Well, it doesn't help when you don't turn the microphone on. Right here I have a Coleman CT200 mini bike. I'm gonna see if it runs and make sure everything is okay with it. Do a little test ride and see what happens. First, I'm gonna take the seat off. It's just held on with some zip ties. See if I can break them. Easy as that. Now I do have the original seat that goes on here. Not that I'm trying to make it uh, like a restoration or anything like that. It's not really something I care about, um, but I'll put that original seat back on. It was off, of, uh, they put it on a, another mini bike. So let me go get that and then uh, we'll get to starting the engine. All right, got the seat. Just pop that back on there. Looks nice or nicer. Oh, well, the seat's on, but it's a little loose. I'm missing a screw up in the front. I don't know what this is. I'll take that off. And this too, if I can. Yeah, there we go. There, saved a few grams. All right, so let's get to starting it. Uh, fuel. Fuel on, choke on. I did add some gas in it to uh, not too long ago. It's not the best stuff, but it should hopefully do the job for now. Nope, oh, I went on. Okay. All right, here goes nothing. That wasn't too bad. Huh. The engine vibrates quite a bit. I don't know if that's normal. I did check for oil. <laughs> that was a bit of a wild ride. This thing shakes a lot and makes some noise. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the exhaust, I don't know. Um, the brakes seem to work. <laughs> kind of impressed, to be honest. I actually thought this was gonna be uh, a lot harder, a lot harder than that. You know, sometimes these things sit for a while and having it start up right away is uh, honestly unexpected. Well, it says it was manufactured in 2018, in the second month. That's kind of cool. It's not that old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fart around with it a little bit, see what what's causing some of the noise, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. It's funny because somebody somebody put some Yamaha tags on here for some reason or another. I'm not sure why. The only noise that I could find is this, and possibly this, which is the clutch cover. This is the, the muffler. It's the only two things I can find that are making a lot of noise. The other thing that might be making noise is the slack in this chain. So I might actually just adjust the chain a little bit, see what happens with that. Uh, and I'll do an oil change, fill up the tank, maybe go for a little bit of a ride. So I went ahead and put in some new oil, put in some diesel 10W30, Rotella T4, got special treatment. Uh, I tried adjusting the chain, but I think it's pretty much reached its uh, lifespan. It was difficult to get it to, to be somewhat straight. I think it's a little bit better than before, but, uh, you know, who knows? I'm just going to go for a little test ride and see what happens, get my helmet, and uh, set up the GoPro. So let's go. Oh, yeah. Also notice this. The uh, breather needs to have some kind of filter, so I'll have to look into that at some point. All right. Got my helmet on, and let's go for a ride. I didn't expect this thing to ride like a motorcycle, but I have to say, I thought it would be a little bit better. It's really squirrely in the front. That's 
wide open throttle. Woo! Whoa! It is fun though. from these mini bikes. Oh, it's muddy. And I got no rear tire. Well, there's no tread. Oh boy. That was funny. I think I must have hit the kill switch or something to stop running. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, well, I think I'm going to turn around from here. There's no way I'm going through that. about you guys but that scared the crap out of me I thought that was a snake and we don't have any big snakes like that here at least not that I've ever seen crazy Bikes, little bikes can certainly get you into small places. Nice view too. Well, I do have to say for such a small bike with a 200cc uh, engine, uh, it, it performs pretty well. Uh, I was actually quite surprised. It doesn't have like a huge uh, top speed, but you can definitely cruise the trails and have some fun. It's a great way to just get out there and uh, do something. Plus these little things are really fun to work on. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Paul. Thanks for watching and take it easy. Go fast.